Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out a harder exam question on iterative sequences. Okay, so let's go through the question here. So the first bit of the question I've already done. So it says show that the equation x cubed plus 4x equals 1 has a solution between x equals 0 and x equals 1. So what I did was I substituted x equals 0 into the left hand side of the equation. So I did 0 cubed plus 4 times 0. And that gave an answer of 0. And then I also substituted x equals 1 into the left hand side. So I did 1 cubed plus 4 times 1 equals 5. And then I made a little comment. So I said since 1 is between 0 and 5, uh, there must be a solution between x equals 0 and x equals 1. Okay, so let's have a look at part B then. So we've got to show that the equation x cubed plus 4x equals 1 can be arranged to give x equals 1 quarter minus x cubed over 4. Now what they've done here, they've made one of the x's the subject to the formula. So I think the x that they've made the subject is this one here. Okay, so let's see if we can make that x the subject. So first of all, let's take x cubed off both sides. So that will give us 4x equals 1 minus x cubed. And then x is being multiplied by 4. So if we divide both sides by 4, we get x equals 1 quarter minus x cubed over 4. So we've made x the subject and it is exactly the same as that up there. OK, so let's move on to part C then. So we've got a set, uh, so it says starting with x naught equals 0, use the iteration formula x little n plus 1 equals 1 quarter minus xn cubed over 4 twice to find an estimate for the solution x cubed plus 4x equals 1. Okay, what you don't have to use is this, so we're not using this bit here. So we're going to use this iteration formula here. Now if you haven't done one of these, you need to know that xn means the last term in the sequence and x little n plus 1 means the next term in the sequence. Okay, so our first term that we've got is 0. Okay, so to get our next term x1, we're going to put 0 into this iterative formula. So we change that xn to 0. So it would be 1 quarter minus 0 cubed over 4. So this is normally a calculated question, so uh, just get your calculator to work that out. Uh, so we've got 1 over 4 minus 0 over 4, and we want to cube the 0. So that gives an answer of 1 quarter. So we now need to work out x2, because it says do it twice. So to get x2, we need to put in that last answer that we've just worked out. So we put in a quarter. So it would be a quarter minus 1 quarter cubed over 4. So we can now just edit what we've just got here. So we can change that 0. Um, I can just press the answer key because a quarter is stored in memory. And we get our next answer, which is 63 over 256. So that is our second term. If it did ask for any other terms now, you could just press the equals key on the calculator. So if you wanted x3, you can just press the equals key. If you want x4, just press it again. Okay, so if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.